turn the rest of the service over to you. At the end of the service, we'll be taking an a offering uh, for Brother Meyer and Word Sower Ministries. We want, want you to keep that in mind. Tom. Here. Since I've been here last, I've been married. And actually, Marianne was there. It was in Jerusalem on June 8th last year. And um, not only that, we have a baby coming, so a lot's happening. Um, just a few matters of housekeeping before we get started. Uh, number one, if your cell phone's on, can you turn the ringer off at this time, please? Number two, if your precious, sweet little one starts to make a lot of noise, can you just kind of until they stop. And uh, on the back table, there are of the paradise of God. To the angel of the church of Smyrna, write, These things says the first and the last who was dead and came to life. I know your works, tribulation and poverty, but you are rich. And I know the blasting of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and you will have tribulation ten days. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He that overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. To the angel of the church of Pergamos, write, These things says he who has the sharp two-edged sword. I know your works and where you dwell, where Satan's throne is. And you hold fast to my name and did not deny my faith, even in the days in which Antipas was my faithful martyr who was killed among you where Satan dwelled. But I have a few things against you. Because you have there those who hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to put the stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed to idols, and to commit sexual immorality. Thus, you also have those who hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent or else I will come to you quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna to eat, and I will give him a white stone, and on the stone a new name written, which no one knows except him who receives it. To the angel of the church of Thyatira, write, These things says the Son of God, who has eyes like a flame of fire, and his feet like fine brass. I know your works, Love, service, faith, and your patience. And as for your works, the last are more than the first. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you. Because you allow that woman, Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols. And I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality, and she did not repent. Indeed, I will cast her into a sickbed, and those who commit adultery with her into great tribulation Unless they repent of their deeds, I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he who searches the minds and the hearts, and I will give to each one of you according to your works. Now to you I say, and to the rest in Thyatira, as many as do not have this doctrine, who have not known the depths of Satan, as they say, I will put on you no other burden, but hold fast what you have until I come. And he that overcomes and keeps my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel, as I also have received from my father, and I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angel of the church of Sardis, write, These things says he who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works that you have a name, that you are alive, but you are dead. Be watchful. Strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found your works perfect before God. Remember, therefore, how you have received and heard. Hold fast and repent. Therefore, if you will not watch, I will come upon you as a thief, and you will not know what hour I will come upon you. You have a few names even in Sardis who have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcomes shall be clothed with white garments, and I will not blot out his name from the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angel of the church of Philadelphia, write, These things says he who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts and shuts and no one opens. I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door. And no one can shut it, 
For you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not, but lie. Indeed, I will make them come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you. Because you have kept my command to persevere, I also will keep you from the hour of trial, which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have, that no one may take your crown. He that overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go out no more. And I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God. And I will write on him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, right? These things says the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Because you say, I am rich, have become wealthy, and have need of nothing. And do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire that you might be rich, and white garments that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me. He that overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. After these things I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here, and I will show you things which must take place after this. Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne set in heaven, and one sat on the throne, and he who sat there was like a jasper and a sardis stone in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne in appearance like an emerald. Around the throne were 24 thrones, and on the thrones I saw 24 elders sitting, clothed with white robes, with crowns of gold on their heads. And from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Before the throne there was a sea of glass like crystal. And in the midst of the throne and around the throne were four living creatures full of eyes around and within. The first living creature was like a lion, the second living creature like a calf, the third living creature had a face like a man, and the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. The four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around and within, and they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. And I saw on the right hand of him sat on the throne a scroll with an inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals, and I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll and to loose its seals? And no one in heaven or on the earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look at it. So I wept much, because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll or to look at it. But one of the elders said unto me, Do not weep. Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah The root of David hath prevailed to open the scroll and to loose its seven seals. And I looked, and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent out into all the earth. Then he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. Now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the lamb, each having a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. 
And they sang a new song saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood. Out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation has made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. And I looked and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, the living creatures and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them, I heard saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb forever and ever. Then the four living creatures said, Amen. And the 24 elders fell down and worshiped him who lives forever and ever. Now, I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying with a voice like thunder, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a white horse. He who sat on it had a bow, and a crown was given to him, and he went out conquering and to conquer. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come and see. Another horse, fiery red, went out. And it was granted to the one who sat on it to take peace from the earth and that people should kill one another. And it was given to him a great sword. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come and see. And I looked and behold, a black horse. He who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley for a denarius and do not harm the oil and the wine. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. The name of him who sat on it was Death. And Hades followed with him, and power was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword, with hunger, with death, and by the beasts of the earth. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? Then a white robe was given to each of them, and it was said to them that they should rest a little while longer until both the number of their fellow servants and their brethren who would be killed as they were was completed. I looked when he opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became like blood, and the stars of heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. Then the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved out of its place, and the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, every slave and every free man hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of his wrath is come. And who is able to stand? After these things I saw four angels, standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, or on the sea, or on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried mightily with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees until we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. Of the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Gad, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Asher, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Levi, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Zebulon, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. After these things, I looked and behold, a great multitude which no one could number, of all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, with palm branches in their hands, saying with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne, the elders and the four living creatures, and fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. 
blessing, glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders answered, saying to me, Who are these arrayed in white robes, and where did they come from? And I said unto him, Sir, you know. So he said unto me, These are the ones who come out of the great tribulation and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will dwell among them. They shall neither hunger any more nor thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them nor any heat. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to living fountains of waters. And God shall wipe away every tear from their eyes. When he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God. And to them were given seven trumpets. Then another angel, having a golden censer, came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense that he should offer with the prayers of the saints upon the golden altar that was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints ascended before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer from the altar, filled it with fire, and threw it to the earth. And there were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. So the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, and hail and fire followed, mingled with blood. And they were thrown to the earth, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all green grass was burned up. Then the second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain burning with fire, was thrown into the sea. And a third of the sea became blood, and a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. Then the third angel sounded. And a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch. And it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of waters. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died from the water because it was made bitter. Then the fourth angel sounded. And a third of the sun was struck, a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of them were darkened. A third of the day did not shine, likewise the night. And I looked, and I heard an angel flying in the midst of heaven, proclaiming with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth, because of the remaining blasts of the trumpets of the three angels who are about to sound. Then the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven to the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and smoke arose out of the pit like the smoke of a great furnace. So the sun and the air were darkened because of the smoke of the pit. Then out of the smoke, locusts came upon the earth, and to them were given power, as the scorpions of the earth had power. They were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth or any green thing or any tree, but only those men who do not have the seal of God in their foreheads. They were not given authority to kill them, but to torment them for five months. Their torment is like the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man. In those days, men will seek death and will not find it. They will desire to die, and death shall flee from them. The shape of the locusts was like horses prepared for battle. On their heads were crowns of something like gold, and their faces were like the faces of men. They had hair like women's hair, and their teeth were like lion's teeth, and they had breastplates like breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots with many horses running into battle. They had tails like scorpions. There were stings in their tails. Their power was to hurt men for five months. And they had as a king over them the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon. But in Greek he has the name Apollyon. One woe was passed. Behold, still two more woes are coming after these things. Then the sixth angel sounded. And I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. So the four angels who had been prepared for the hour, day, month, and year were released to kill a third of mankind. Now the number of the army of the horsemen was 200 million. I heard the number of them. Thus I saw the horses in the vision. Those that sat on them had breastplates of fiery red, hyacinth blue, and sulfur yellow. And the heads of the horses was like the heads of lions. And out of their mouths came fire and smoke and brimstone. By these three plagues was a third of mankind killed by the fire and the smoke and the brimstone which came out of their mouths. For their power is in their mouths and in their tails, for their tails are like serpents, having heads, and with them they do harm. But the rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues 
did not repent of the works of their hands, that they should not worship demons and idols of gold, silver, brass, stone, and wood, which can neither see nor hear nor walk. And they did not repent of their murders or their sorcery or their sexual immorality or their thefts. I saw still another angel coming down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was on his head. His face was like the sun, and his feet like pillars of fire, and he had a little book open in his hand. And he set his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land, and he cried with a loud cry as when a lion roars. When he cried out, seven thunders uttered their voices. Now when the seven thunders uttered their voices, I was about to write. But I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Seal up the things which the seven thunders uttered and do not write them. The angel whom I saw standing on the sea and on the earth raised up his hand towards heaven and swear by him who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that are in it, and the earth and the things that are in it, and the sea and the things that are in it, that there should be delay no longer. But in the days of the sounding of the seventh angel, when he is about to sound, the mystery of God would be finished, as he declared to his servants, the prophets. Then the voice which I heard from heaven spoke to me again and said, Go, take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel who stands on the sea and on the earth, So I went to the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take and eat it. It will be as sweet as honey in your mouth, but bitter in your stomach. Then I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it. And it was as sweet as honey in my mouth. When I had eaten it, my stomach became bitter. And he said unto me, You must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. Then I was given a reed like a measuring rod. And the angel stood, saying, Arise, measure the temple of God, the altar, and those who worship there. But leave out the court which is outside the temple, and do not measure it, for it has been given to the Gentiles, and they will tread the holy city underfoot forty-two months. And I will give power to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy one thousand two hundred and sixty days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands standing before the God of the earth. And if anyone wants to harm them, fire proceeds from their mouth and devours their enemies. And if anyone wants to harm them, he must be killed in this manner. These have power to shut heaven so that no rain falls in the days of their prophecy. They have power over water to turn it to blood and to strike the earth with all plagues as often as they desire. When they finish their testimony, the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit will make war against them, overcome them, and kill them. And their dead bodies will lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Then those from the peoples, nations, tribes, and tongues will see their dead bodies three and a half days and not allow their dead bodies to be put into graves. And those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them, make merry, and send gifts to one another because these two prophets tormented those who dwell on the earth. Now after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them and they stood on their feet. And great fear fell on those who saw them, and they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they ascended into heaven in a cloud, and their enemies saw them. And the same hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. In the earthquake, 7,000 people were killed, and the rest were afraid and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe was past. Behold, the third woe is coming quickly. Then the seventh angel sounded, and there were loud voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord's and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the 24 elders who sat before God fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, saying, We give you thanks, O Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was and who is to come, because you have taken your great power and reigned. The nations were angry, and your wrath has come in the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that you should reward your servants the prophets and the saints and those who fear your name, small and great, and should destroy those who destroy the earth. Then the temple of God was opened in heaven, and the ark of his covenant was seen in his temple, and there were lightnings, noises, thunderings, an earthquake, and great hail, and there appeared a great sign in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars, and she being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another sign in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth 
a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had the place prepared of God, that they should feed her there 1,260 days. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven, and the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimonies. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast onto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time, times and half a time, from the face of the serpent. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. But the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the names of blaspheme. The beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. His feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blaspheme. And power was given unto him to continue 42 months. And he opened his mouth and blasphemed against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and none that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given to him over all kindreds and tongues and nations and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names were not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. If any man has an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and exercises all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he hath power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he has power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. What is the number of a man? And his number is 666. Then I looked, and behold, a lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a loud voice from heaven, like the voice of many waters, like the voice of loud thunderings. And I heard the sound of harpists playing their harps. They sang, as it were, a new song before the throne, the four living creatures and the elders. And no one could learn that song except the 144,000 who were redeemed from the earth. These are the ones who were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. These were redeemed from among men, being firstfruits to God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no deceit, 
for they are without fault before the throne of God. And I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment has come, and worship him who made heaven, the earth, the sea, and springs of waters. And another angel followed, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she has made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Then the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast or his image, or receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever. And they have no rest day or night who worship the beast or his image or who receive the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works. Follow them. Then I looked, and behold, a white cloud. And on the cloud sat one like the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out to the temple which is in heaven and cried with a loud cry to him who sat on the cloud, saying, Thrust in your sickle and reap, for the time has come for you to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. So he who sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle in the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out to the temple which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar who had power over fire, and he cried with a loud cry to him who had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in your sickle and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. So the angel thrust in his sickle in the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trodden outside of the city, and blood came out of the winepress up to the horse's bridle by the space of 200 miles. After these things, I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous. Seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them the wrath of God is complete. And I saw something like a sea of glass, mingled with fire. And those who had the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, standing on the sea of glass, having harps of God, they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, O Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, O King of the saints. Who shall not fear you, O Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy, for all nations shall come and worship before you, for your judgments have been manifested. After these things I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. And out of the temple came seven angels, having the seven plagues, clothed with pure bright linen, having their chests girded with golden bands. Then one of the four living creatures gave to the seven angels seven golden bowls full of the wrath of God who lives forever and ever. The temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power, and no one was able to enter the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were completed. And I heard a loud voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the bowls of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his bowl upon the earth. And there fell a noise and a grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his image. And the second angel poured out his bowl upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. And the third angel poured out his bowl upon the rivers and fountains of waters, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the water say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged us. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his bowl upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of God, which hath power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. And the fifth angel poured out his bowl upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain, and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and of their sores, and they repented not of their deeds. And the sixth angel poured out his bowl upon the great river Euphrates, and 
the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits, like frogs, come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth to the kings of the earth, and of the whole world, to gather them together to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. And the seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and there was a loud voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, It is done. There were lightnings, noises, and thunderings. And there was a great earthquake, such as was not since man was upon the earth. So mighty an earthquake and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine and the fierceness of his wrath. And every island fled away, and the mountains were not found, and there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. And men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail, for the plague thereof was exceeding great. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and talked with me, saying, Come! I will show you the judgment of the great harlot who sits on many waters with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth were made drunk through the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness and I saw the woman sitting on a scarlet beast having seven heads and ten horns. The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet and adorned with gold and precious stones and pearls having in her hand a golden cup full of abominations and the filthiness of her fornication. And on her forehead a name was written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and of the abominations of the earth. I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I marveled with great amazement. But the angel said unto me, Why did you marvel? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carries her, which has the seven heads and the ten horns. The beast that you saw was and is not, and will ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And those who dwell on the earth will marvel, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they see the beast that was and is not and yet is. Here's the mind that has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits. There are also seven kings. Five have fallen. One is, and the other has not yet come. And when he comes, he must continue a short time. The beast that was and is not, is himself also the eighth, and is of the seventh, and is going into perdition. The ten horns which you saw, these are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but they receive authority for one hour as kings with the beast. These are of one mind, and they will give their power and authority to the beast, and these will make war with the lamb. And the lamb will overcome them, free as lord of lords and king of kings, and those who are with him are called, chosen, and faithful. Then he said unto me, The waters which you saw where the harlot sits, are peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. And the ten horns which you saw in the beast, these will hate the harlot, make her desolate and naked, eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. For God hath put it into their hearts to fulfill his purpose, to be of one mind, to give their kingdoms to the beast until the words of God are fulfilled. And the woman which you saw is that great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. After these things, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was illuminated with his glory. And he cried mightily with a loud voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become a dwelling place of demons, a prison for every foul spirit, and a cage for every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of her fornication. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth have become rich through the abundance of her luxury. And I heard another voice out of heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, lest you share in her sins, and lest you receive of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Render to her, just as she rendered to you, and repay her double according to her works. And the cup which she has mixed, mix double for her. And the measure that she glorified herself and lived luxuriously, in the same measure give her torment and sorrow. For she said in her heart, I sit as queen, and am no widow, and will not see sorrow. Therefore her plagues will come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she will be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judges her. 
The kings of the earth who committed fornication and lived luxuriously with her will weep and lament for her when they see the smoke of her burning, standing at a distance for fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, the mighty city, for in one hour your judgment has come. The merchants of the earth will weep and mourn for her, for no one buys their merchandise anymore. Merchandise of gold and silver, precious stones and pearls, fine linen, purple, silk, and scarlet, every kind of citron wood, every kind of object of ivory, every kind of object of most precious wood, bronze, iron, marble, cinnamon, incense, fragrant oil, frankincense, wine, oil, fine flour, wheat, cattle, sheep, horses, chariots, bodies and souls of men, the fruit that you're so long for is gone from you, and all the things which are rich and splendid have gone from you, and you shall find them no more at all. The merchants of these things who became rich by her will stand at a distance for fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon that was clothed in fine linen, purple, and scarlet, and adorned with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour such great riches came to nothing. Every shipmaster, all who travel by ship, sailors, and as many as traded the sea, stood at a distance and cried out when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What is like this great city? They threw dust on their heads and cried out, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, the mighty city, for in one hour your judgment has come. Rejoice over her, O heavens, and you holy apostles and prophets, for God hath avenged you on her. Then a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, and threw it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence that great city Babylon shall be cast down and shall not be found any more. The sound of harpists, musicians, flutists, and trumpeters shall not be heard in you any more. No craftsman of any craft shall be found in you any more, and the sound of a millstone shall not be heard in you any more. The light of a lamp shall not shine in you any more, and the voice of bridegroom and bride shall not be heard in you any more. For your merchants were the great men of the earth. For by your sorcery all the nations were deceived, and in her was found the blood of prophets and saints and of all who were slain on the earth. After these things I heard a loud voice of a great multitude in heaven saying, Hallelujah! Salvation, glory, honor, and power belong to the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments, because he has judged the great harlot who corrupted the earth with her fornication, and he has avenged on her the blood of his servants shed by her. Again they said, Hallelujah! Her smoke rises up forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders and four living creatures fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Hallelujah! Then a voice came from the throne, saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, and those who fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, as the sound of many waters, as the sound of mighty thundering, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife has made herself ready. And to her was granted to be arrayed in fine linen, clean and bright, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. Then he said unto me, Right, blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. But he said unto me, See that you do not do that. I am your fellow servant and of your brethren who have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he who sat on him is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no one knew except himself, and he was clothed with a robe, dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies of heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. Now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should strike the nations, and he himself shall rule them with a rod of iron. He himself shall tread the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God, and he has on his robe and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the birds that fly in the midst of heaven, Come, gather together to the supper of the great God, that you may eat the flesh of kings, the flesh of captains, the flesh of mighty men, the flesh of horses, and of those that sit on them, the flesh of all people, free and slave and small and great. And I saw the beast, the kings of the earth, and their armies gathered together to make war against him who sat on the horse and against his army. Then the beast was captured, and with him the false prophet who worked signs in his presence, 
by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. And these two were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone, and the rest were killed with the sword, which proceeded from the mouth of him that sat on the horse. And all the birds were filled with their flesh. And I saw an angel coming down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. He laid hold of the dragon, that serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal on him so that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years were finished. But after these things, he must be released for a little while. And I saw thrones, and they sat on them, and judgment was committed to them. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for Jesus, for their witness to Jesus, and for the word of God, who had not worshipped the beast or his image, or received his mark on their forehead or on their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years, but the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he who has part in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him for a thousand years. Now, when the thousand years has expired, Satan will be released from his prison and will go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, whose number is as the sands of the sea. They went up on the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city, and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. The devil, which deceived them, was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophets are, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw a great white throne, and him who sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works, by the things which are written in the books, the sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them, and they were judged, each one, according to his works. Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, and anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now, I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also, there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people. God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. And he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Right, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain of the water of life freely to him who thirsts. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he will be my son. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And one of the seven angels who had the seven bulls filled with the seven last plagues came to me and talked with me, saying, Come, I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. So he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. Her light was like a most precious stone, like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Also, she had a great and high wall with 12 gates, and twelve angels at the gates, and names written on them, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Three gates on the east, three gates on the north, three gates on the south, and three gates on the west. Now, the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. He who talked with me had a gold reed to measure the city, its gates, and its wall. The city is laid out as a square. Its length is as great as its breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve thousand furlongs. Its length, breadth, and height are equal. Then he measured the wall. 144 cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of an angel. And the construction of its wall was of jasper. And the city was pure gold, like clear glass. Now, the foundations of the wall of the city were adorned with all kinds of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth 
beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysoprase, the eleventh jacinth, and the twelfth amethyst. The twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each individual gate was a one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, like transparent glass. But I saw no temple in it, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. The city had no need of the sun or of the moon to shine on it, for the glory of God illuminated it. The Lamb is its light, and the nations of those who are saved shall walk in its light, and the kings of the earth shall bring their glory and honor into it. Its gates shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there, and they shall bring the glory and the honor of the nations into it. But there shall by no means enter anything that defiles or causes an abomination or a lie, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and from the Lamb. In the middle of the street and on either side of the river was the tree of life, which bare twelve fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations, and there shall be no more curse, for the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. They shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. There shall be no night there. They need no lamp, no light to the sun, for the Lord God gives them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These words are faithful and true. For the Lord God, the holy prophet, sent his angel to show his servants things which must shortly take place. Behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. Now, I, John, saw and heard these things. And when I heard and saw, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel who showed me these things. But he said unto me, See that you do not do that. I am your fellow servant, and of your brethren the prophets, and of those who keep the words of this book, worship God. And he said unto me, Do not seal the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He was unjust, let him be unjust still. He was filthy, let him be filthy still. He was righteous, let him be righteous still. He was holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his works. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are those who do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. But outside are dogs, sorcerers, sexually immoral, murderers, idolaters, and whoever loves and practices a lie. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and the morning star, and the spirit and the bride say, Come. Let him who hears say, come. Let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take of the water of life freely. For I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to these things, God will add them to him the plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his part from the book of life and from the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. And he who testifies to these things says, surely I am coming quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.